Only on two tonight, outrage in a different south suburban town, Dalton. Hundreds of people lined up to pay tickets they say they never should have gotten. As CBS 2's Jermont Terry explains, they were told to show up in court today or the fines would double. Usually the trains are the loudest noise in south suburban Dalton. Yet on Thursday, the rumble came from hundreds in long lines outside the municipal court. How long were you in that line? I can't even tell you, man. It was a long day. Hey, I sat down, I stood up. I've been in line for two hours. They are all here after getting slapped with various citations all of a sudden by the city. At first I thought it was $50. And then I had to put my glasses on. Elizabeth Watson quickly saw an extra zero for a total sum of $500. And if she didn't stand in this line to appear in court. After the 21st, I'll be on $1,000. Which is why hundreds packed the municipal court. That's and a lot for a senior citizen, you know, on a fixed income. And these outrageous amounts is insane. The vast majority of people slapped with the $500 ticket say they never parked. And so I walk in, get my pizza, it's already prepared, 30 seconds in and, in, and in and out, run in and out. Five days later, ticket in the mail. Eric Hagerman's $500 ticket came for parking in a fire lane in the strip mall at 154th and Cottage Grove. But he never received a ticket on his car that day. He says police, who we spotted parked in the same private lot, just snapped pictures as proof of parking. I got it three days later saying we have a picture of your car in the fire lane. We heard the same story repeatedly. She pulled up right to the grocery store, she got out, right. and then I moved. Then I got a ticket like two weeks later, $500 ticket. Keep in mind, this is not city property. It's in a strip mall. It's in a strip mall. Yeah. So are you left wondering why the city is giving out citations for a private property? <laughs> yeah. Mayor Tiffany Henyard did not respond when CBS, too, asked for an explanation. This administration has cost us a five, $5 million deficit. And now I believe that the mayor is trying to make up that deficit on the backs of the residents. Dalton trustee Jason House says the tickets were not just for vehicles, but work permits too. I've heard of residents that have gotten fines for not getting a permit to install carpet. And people waited well into the night to have their cases heard. There's something strange going on. In Dalton, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News.